The tree planted by the stream of water is evergreen and bearing fruit. It does not dry. It is always good to look at and behold at all seasons. We are trees planted here on earth. And what is painful is that some of us take ourselves out of the place where God planted us and want to go where we like. God is there like a stream of water for us not to lack, but we do not want to stay. We feel we know and have it all figured out and walk out and away from his place. Your flourishing is not dependent on the circumstances surrounding you or the prevailing condition. With God, you would be recession-proof, inflation hedged, financial crisis protected. In Psalms 92, verse 12 through 13, the Bible says the righteous will flourish like the date palm, long-lived, upright, and useful. They will grow like a cedar in Lebanon, majestic and stable. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. To flourish means to succeed and prosper. It also means to increase in wealth, honor, and fame. Furthermore, to flourish means to grow in grace and good works. To flourish according to the Bible involves all aspects of life, spiritual, material, psychological, etc. God has promised to flourish his people in many instances in the Bible. God's promise to flourish a person would be seen evidently in his or her life. Having understood what flourishing means, you might be wondering about the possibility of you flourishing in life. Here are some Bible characters that went through difficult moments and still flourished. Abraham. Abraham had his fair share of hardship for his time. He left his home, family, and friends to follow the call and voice of God. This might seem like an unreasonable thing to do, but from the scripture we can evidently see that Abraham was a man of faith, as he would almost sacrifice his only son Isaac in obedience to God's command. God went on to bless and flourish him exceedingly. Genesis 13 verse 2 Abraham had become very wealthy in livestock and in silver and gold. Abraham is popularly known now as the father of many nations, as God expanded his descendants. He is also one of the Bible's righteous rich men. Job, an icon of losing all and bouncing back. Job suffered the worst thing a man can suffer, which is to lose his whole childhood. Not just that, he lost his huge number of livestock, all these in one day. He was then affected by a strange sickness. Consequently, we would learn that all these were a result of him being a true lover and follower of God. So all these happened to a certain if he would forsake God in his time of nothing. During this difficult time, his friends chastised him rather than comforted him. And his wife told him to curse God and die rather than stay in that condition. But after all these, God flourished him greatly. At the end of the book of Job, the Bible explains that he was restored with all. God gave to him more than what he lost. He had very beautiful children and he lived a very long life. David. David's difficult moment was when he was hunted by King Saul. But being a godly and brave man who always inquired of the Lord for every action he wanted to take, he was risen up to be the most popular king of Israel and he was blessed with wealth and power. He was so blessed by God that God later on made a covenant where his descendants would always rule on the throne of Israel. David flourished and lived in affluence because of the faith and belief he had in God. With all these Bible characters' testimonies, we can pick a major thing from their stories of flourishing. They were all serving God. They exalted his position 
in their lives. So if you want God flourishing in your life, you must serve Him, love Him, and follow Him. Although we might see the wicked prospering, Psalms 37 verse 1 through 40 tells us not to be envious of their wealth as it would only be for a moment. Verse 38 specifically depicts their end as they will be cut off at the end. Here are some Bible passages of God promising to flourish us. 1. Ezekiel 47 verse 12 Food and Providence 2. Psalms 92 verse 13 Being in the presence of God 3. Proverbs 14, verse 11, Psalms 1, verse 1 through 6, being upright before God. How do you experience God's flourishing? These are some ways. Live a sinless life. Sin stops us from living that flourished life that God has promised us of. So, for us to live a flourished life, we must cast out every sin from our lives and heart. So we should confess our sins and be forgiven by God to live a flourished life. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When we confess our sins to God, we would feel joy and freedom as he would take away that sin weighing us down. It is in this condition where we would flourish. Living a sinless life also means forgiving those who have hurt us. Though this may seem difficult, it is possible. The situation blocking you from flourishing might just be that grudge you are holding against a person for wronging you. To effectively flourish in life, you must learn to forgive and live a forgiving life free of sin. Meditate on God's Word, be it daily devotions or just regular reading of the Bible. We should read God's Word, meditate and ponder on the major points in His words. This would enable us to have a wider knowledge of Him and give us awareness of His promise to make us flourish. Reading the Bible daily would help you saturate your life around God's Word. In this case, you would flourish spiritually. Psalms 1 verse 2 says, But His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in His law doth He meditate day and night. When you meditate on God's Word and are grounded in its knowledge, it could come in handy at different points in your life. When you are depressed, you can remind God of His promise to flourish you and make you prosper. Eating the Word of God is a sure way to flourish. It is His Word that you need to eat daily as manure to flourish. You must draw living water from Him to be able to survive. Attending church fellowships. Church fellowship is a place where we can be grounded in the Word of God. It is more beneficial as it is a group with a common goal to know and worship God. Surrounding yourself with people of like-minded purpose. To worship God enables you to flourish spiritually. Hebrews 10 verse 25a Admonishes us not to forsake the assembling or coming together of brethren. Attending church is one of the places you can surround yourself with believers regularly. So if we want to flourish spiritually, we should make attending church services a top priority in our lives. You cannot grow alone. Most times you might get weak and discouraged, but being in the right company and association can keep you falling. Trees that are planted in the same place are strong together against the wild wind and storm. Together they resist and stand firm. Psalm 92 verse 13 
says those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. A lot of people feel they do not need to go to church as they can have personal spiritual growth. Although you can have the spiritual growth that leads to spiritual flourishing, it is more efficient when you are in a group. Trust the Lord. To fully trust in the Lord means to meticulously believe that His plan for you is the best course of action for your life. Trusting in God defines surrendering your life's decisions to Him, both minor and major decisions. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 through 8 tells us that to trust and put our hope in God brings a blessing. This is because God knoweth all things. He knows the best path for our lives and when we surrender to Him, He will not lead us astray. On the contrary, He will lead us to the path of prosperity. This path He leads you to will enable you to flourish, not just spiritually, but also materially and physically. God desires that you flourish. It is His will that you live a life that all you need and want. He does not want you malnourished. He does not want you looking sickly. You must remain connected to Him as your sure source and fountain so that you would not dry or wither out. You must keep drinking from Him to be strong and bear fruit. He wants you to flourish in all areas and aspects of life. He wants you to be strong and healthy every day. You must take daily from His Word, for it is the manure needed for you to be strong. His Word is the vital nutrients you need to grow. When you stop hearing His Word, you begin to dry up. You must always get stirred in prayer through the Holy Ghost. This is the way to get watered from His source that never runs dry. Charge yourself daily in prayer. It is drinking from the living water source. Do you want to flourish and never get dry? Then you must not afford to be disconnected from your root source.